Then, Annie, it is important to also emphasize that the ridicule that the Baumia campaign is facing is because they brought it upon themselves. You have a candidate who is not a friend to the truth, is not a friend to credibility, is not a friend to trustworthiness. In other words, those are not qualities you find in Baumia. So in this campaign, all what people are doing, just play his own tapes. And you saw the last time he met you in the media, that disastrous encounter. Hmm? And have you noticed that since then, since he met you in the media, have you noticed that since then they are not calling for a debate again with, with former President Mahama? Oh, hmm? yeah. Just last hmm? week. Yeah. Was calling hmm? yes, so just last week. Uh, there was a whole crusade. There was a lot of energy behind that, the, the call, that for call for now it's the, what, the energy some, has dwindled totally dwindled <laughs> some feeble effort you know every now and then by some <laughs> lone rangers so 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 what, so, what so, can, so I mean, this no, presidential no, no, debate can i can you debate yourself mm. the people that you want to debate they say they won't debate what should you do yeah, you relax you should stop it mm. Hey. So you can you can you can write down your I don't interject when no, you're no. speaking. Oh, but so, like the, uh, the, no, no, no. Let me let me make good use of my the time. friendly interjection. So no matter how you describe it, that we, we, it's needless. Mm. Uh, so look, Annie, the Ghanaian people have heard Dr. Baumia. They gave him a golden opportunity. For eight years, he's been chair of the economic management team. And what have we seen? This gentleman has caused us the greatest pain, greatest anguish. If he had any respect for the Ghanaian people, he would go into hiding. He would not be presenting himself for office. Until Baumia becoming chair of the economic management team, this country has never in our history face a domestic debt exchange program. Never. People's life savings have always been intact. Government bonds, we were told from textbooks at all times, risk-free. It is only under Baumia, as chair of the economic management team, the senior citizens, the aged, have to go to the Ministry of Finance, demonstrate for days, for weeks. You saw the former chief justice. The ladyships of Akufu. Their own money, their own life savings. What did Baumia say when the exchange rate was one is to four? What did he say? He said the fundamentals were weak. The fundamentals have exposed Mahama. That's what he said. Where is the exchange rate today? The last time I checked, it's approaching 17. Fast approaching 17. They have no shame. And they are back again. He has some great message. Uh, he was going on and on. I was waiting to hear the message. When he was going on and on. Some great message. Some message we've never heard before. I'm still waiting for that message. It's all fluff. No substance. Total Deception. Let us rebrand, paste, paper over, and represent damaged goods. And they think that the Ghanaian people are zombies. They think that the pain that they have caused us, the anguish, the suffering. What did they say when debt to GDP was nowhere near 60%? What did they say? Under Baumia, it exceeded 100%. So, every single indicator. Was it not Baumia who said that, look, you don't, we, he's worked at the Bank of Ghana before, we are borrowing too much, and we can, we can run this country without borrowing. Didn't he say that? And that this country, all you have to do is really just tow the ropes. <clears throat> all those videos are there. And the last time he met you guys, 
and journalists of Ghana asked him. So you are back again with new theories. Why can't you implement them now? You remember what he said? Oh, if I do everything now, what will I do when I'm president? Incredible. It became the biggest joke, the biggest joke of this company. So there are memes all over the place. All over the place. And you go on social media and you can't have, you know, a boring moment. If I, if I, if I rescue you today, if I alleviate your plight today, what will I do tomorrow? What will I do when I become president? And this is the campaign Nana Komiya is selling us. It's some great campaign. Baumia is the star of the moment. And everybody is hailing him. Please, look, these people, they should be apologizing to Ghanaians. If they had any respect, any modicum mm, of respect for the Ghanaian people, any scintilla, mm, they would have presented somebody else or probably even back out of the 2024 campaign. Mm? Just apologize, back out of the campaign, and then go back, reorganize themselves. And after showing good remorse mm, in some future election, come back. So they shouldn't think that Ghanaians have short memory. They shouldn't think that. And I'm surprised that Nana Komiya is telling us today that he has not heard President Mahama on his far-reaching policy proposals, including what we, the new majority, have signaled we would do in parliament. President Mahama was the first to say that e-levy must be abolished, that the emissions tax must be abolished. First politician to boldly say that. First to say that it is totally unconscionable that many years after COVID, being declared by the World Health Organization that it's no longer a pandemic, Ghana is the only country still paying a COVID levy. President Mahama was the first politician to boldly declare that that will go. Betting tax, President Mahama has said that betting tax will go. Indeed, after President Mahama put out all of those far-reaching tax reforms. Then you had Baumia playing catch-up when he saw how it was well-received. Ghanaians have been asking, if you now agree with President Mahama, why don't you do it now? Of course, we all know that. If I do it now, what will I do when you vote for me? which is never going to happen. So, you see, let's get serious. Let's stop adding insult to injury. This Akufuado Baumia Galamse government has caused so much pain, so much anguish, so much destruction. Even river bodies have not been spared. Our forests have not been spared. They have destroyed people's businesses. Look at the number of banks, the number of financial institutions. Look at the massive unemployment they have created. As we speak, according to the last population housing census, unemployment is at an all-time high, 14.7%. You are telling us that this is some candidate. Which, I mean, they have absolutely no respect for us. So mm. let's put that aside and treat it with the contempt that it deserves.